To do nothing is to move backwards. Cause time flows on. To do nothing is to move backwards. Cause time flows on. Sensational, temptational impulses that make our minds jump on from thought to thought. Sensational, temptational impulses that then make our minds jump on from thought to thought. Not really dealing with the idea. Not really dealing with it. Just thinking that our own dream or thought was unique and boss. Then so many ideas and dreams and so many ideas and dreams and so many ideas and dreams soon pile up. Like a basket full of time bombs just waiting the right time to explode. Or like a top artist with his works in the closet. Or like a top painter, you know, with his masterpieces in the closet. Waiting for them to walk out on their own and be exposed. When thinking is inactive, it's labeled passive and ideas will never materialize or be disclosed. To do nothing is to move backwards, cause time just flows. To do nothing is to move backwards, cause time flows on and we grow old. It's like missing your jet at the airport than taking the wrong subway train home or like the footprints on the sands of time that fade away unless we trek on or musicians cooped in corners listening to records ain't thought about touching their horns or musicians cooped in corners listening to records ain't thought about making their life the music that comes out of their horn just sitting listening to someone else blow copy and testify from dusk to dawn copy then when it come time to play then when it come time to play it's then realize as bird once said if you don't live it it won't come out your horn to do nothing is to move backwards and there are no shortcuts through this life I hope this is understood as well as overstood to stand. There are no shortcuts at this time toward being a positive woman, positive man. Cause life ain't nothing but a learning experience. A journey through a chess game or maze. Made up off of, made up off of, made up off of, made up off of, made up off of crazy camouflage, mechanical smiles, crazy styles, blending with the poisonous smog and haze, consisting of upper and lower awareness levels depending on how conscious we become from the many mistakes which have been made. But in order to move to a higher level, 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 the dues on a lower level will have to be paid must be paid must be paid but it may sound cold but it's real didn't you know it may sound cold but it's real haven't you heard didn't you know like you can't pay after you go until you paid up before you begin and for not paying enough dues you'll always be on the outside of a high level looking in and for not paying enough dues you always be on the outside of a higher level looking in. To do nothing is to move backwards cause time flows on. That's it. And at one point, a lot of us who start dealing with blackness came across a man named Franz Fanon who said something that culture meant only one thing. 
an environment shaped to help us and our children grow, shaped by ourselves in action against the system that enslaves us, because we are enslaved, you know. And the prophet is not to be played with. He is the enslaver, master, we the slaves. The evil he does is not new, cannot be resolved through rhetoric, hate, poems, loving more than one woman. The prophet is deep, deeper than the 400 years of our slavery. We must watch our slavery, especially when it looks like freedom, cause slaves can look beautiful, talk beautifully, can be deceived by the devil who lights our small flames of rage, then extinguishes them when they threaten to spread. The master is masterful, is the supreme animal of destruction and cannot be destroyed with only long dresses, Swahili, curses, soul food, fervor, dashikis, naturals, poems, soul, rage, leather jackets, slogans, polygamy, Yoruba. No, black people, no, we need war, discipline, learning, Land, planning, love, and power, power, blacker than the smell of death, we the hunters need to destroy the beast who enslaves us. And we do look beautiful, even though we still be slaves. People tell me I'm not a slave. Some people in a nation who might make a lot of money still might think they're free, but as long as there are the thousands and thousands of black people who are poor, if you just walk up to Harlem and see the conditions of where I grew up and other black children are growing up, then you understand that only slaves live like that. <laughs>